Math in JavaScript is pretty standard. It works pretty much the way it does in every other language, at least every modern language that's using a semicolon format. So I have the display over here on this side, and we're going to go through it a line at a time to show you what's happening. Initially, we create a variable, and we initialize the answer to zero. Then we're doing a document.write, and if you do this and then there's any other content, it'll wipe it out. Since we're doing all this in one JavaScript, we're do not doing HTML anywhere outside of the JavaScript, so it's fine. So we're putting in an H1 that says math. We're changing the value of answer, the variable stored in it, to equal 2 plus 2. Then we're doing a document write, 2 plus 2 equals, and then we're putting it in answer. So we've changed the value of answer, we've changed 0. So it's now storing 2 plus 2, so it should be 4. So it's printing our 2 plus 2 string. It's a string because it's inside of quotes, plus answer, so we have 4. Now we're having answer equal 15 minus 3. We're writing, this is just a break line for HTML, 15 minus 3 plus the answer. 7 times 6, 42. 12 divided by 3 equals 4, 12 divided by 5 equals 2.4. This is the modulus operator that gives you the remainder. So if we do 12 modulus 5, what should be stored is the remainder if you divide 12 by 5. It should have a remainder of 2. So 12 modulus 5 gives you the remainder of 2. Now we're setting answer equal to 1, and we're writing that answer equals 1. Now we're incrementing answer plus plus equals answer plus plus. It still equals 1 because it's adding the, it adds after we write it. So we're doing answer plus plus, and we've actually done that twice. So now the answer equals 3 because it didn't increment until after we actually wrote this. So we wrote answer plus plus, then we incremented it. Then we incremented it again. That's how we get 3. Now we're having answer minus minus. We're displaying that, and it equals to 2. So those are some basic math functions. You'll also do some sample math examples of your own.